what is up? It's Cordial Gamer here, being on the Christian. And today, guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys my setup. So, guys, I'm gonna be showing you basically like everything in my room. I'm gonna be showing you my computer, what I record with, but just almost everything. So, just sit back and relax and enjoy the show. First things first, let's start for the PC. So I have an AMD FX 4130 quad core processor, an AMD Radeon F7 200 series, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive, and a 500 watt Rosewell power supply. And then moving on, we have the PS4. It's a 500 gigabyte black edition. I absolutely love it. Sometimes I want to chill back and just play some GTA or Battlefront. It is great to have it, and I absolutely love the PS4. Go Sony. And then over to the left, we have the, our first monitor, the Acer G6 GBD 24-inch Full HD widescreen LCD monitor. It's 920 by 1080. It's black, and I absolutely love it. It looks amazing. It's great. It's my main monitor, and I would definitely check it out because it's really cheap, and it definitely is worth it. And then over to the right, we have my second monitor. It's a Sanyo 24-inch LED display in 1080p. I mostly use this for the PS4 because it's mostly meant for TV, but it also works as a monitor and I absolutely love it. It is amazing. It looks crisp and clean. And then we have my favorite item on my desk. It's my keyboard. It's the Corsair K70 Gaming Mechanical Keyboard and blue switches. I love how it feels. It is super sturdy and I just love the metallic look on it and the sound is amazing. And then we have my mouse. It's the eBlue Mazer 2500 DPI USB wired optical gaming mouse it is cheap it's like i think it was like ten dollars or something like that i've had it for five years and it is absolutely amazing i just love the way it feels it fits perfectly on my hand and the dpi setting is absolutely amazing and also the blue leds aren't very bright but it's just enough and then we have one of my most expensive accessories other than my keyboard it is the playstation 4 wireless dual shock darth vader special edition controller i think it was around it was around a hundred dollars it is worth the money I love the way it looks. It even has Star Wars on the touchpad, and even the triggers feel like nice, and they have a nice texture on it. It is definitely worth it. I would recommend it. And then last but not least, we have the E-More Wireless Bluetooth Colorful LED Fountain Dancing Water Speakers. These things are awesome. They sound amazing, and I think they're only like $20. It looks amazing, like when you have a song going, that the water will dance it. I would definitely recommend this. Yeah, so guys, that's my uh, setup. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a pretty long to make, but I just love showing you guys it. And I did this because I reached 100 subscribers. I think it was on Saturday. So thank you guys so much for that. And I also forgot something else. It is the uh, Logitech G230. This is what I use to record my voice and listen to music or anything like that, or gaming sounds. I think it was around $30. I'll uh, definitely get it if you're kind of on a cheap budget. It's um, it sounds pretty good. I mean, what you hear, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, so guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. And, um, yeah, guys, thank you again for 100 subscribers. I mean, that's crazy. I honestly never thought I would get there. And if I did get there, I thought it was going to be, like, at the end of the summer. But we got it pretty quickly. Yeah, so guys, and as always, don't be selfish, don't be a quarter, don't be a Peace.